Here we have a similar problem in the standard normal distribution with mean zero and standard deviation one. And we're asked to find the area under the curve above the z-score of negative 1.19. Again, note that this z-score is to two decimal places. And in general, all z-scores will be taken to two decimal places when input into the TID3 or TID4. To shade this normal curve and see the shaded area, we'll go to the second distribution draw button and select out the shade normal function. Since we're shading the normal curve from the z-score of negative 1.19 and above, we first put in the z-score of negative 1.19 into the shade normal function. This is followed by a comma. And the second number that we'll put in will be the TI-83 understanding of infinity. And to do that, we'll use the double E button, which is over the comma in yellow. So we're going to hit the second double E. And when you do, notice this, the small little E shows on the actual calculator screen. And follow this by the number 99. Now when I hit the Enter key, again I have the normal curve being drawn. And the area is 0.882977, which we would round to 0 0.8830 to four decimal places. The lower z-score, negative 1.19. And the upper z-score is 1 times 10 to the 99th power, which is the number 1 followed by 99 zeros, which is the calculator's understanding of infinity. Once you finish this problem, we can clear the drawing by going to the Draw button in yellow over the Program key, and simply hitting the Enter button to clear the drawing. Doing the same problem so that we only see the answer and not the shaded area, we would simply go to the Second Distribution button. Again, select out number 2, the Normal Cumulative Density function, by hitting the number 2 on the keyboard. Input the lower number z-score, which is negative 1.19, followed by a comma. And now the upper number z-score for a shade above problem is E99. Again, the double E can be found above the comma button in yellow. So yellow second double E, 99. And when we hit Enter, here we have the answer without the curve being drawn.